Okay, if you're solving systems of equations problems right now, this is a classic problem that you're likely to encounter involving distance equals rate times time, as well as traveling with a current and against a current. So let's dive into this uh, story problem here. It says you paddle your canoe downstream 21 miles in three hours, then you turn around and you paddle upstream back to your starting point in seven hours. What is the speed of the current? So one way to tackle these problems is to make a table like this. We're going to make a distance equals rate times time uh, table. So let's do that. So we've got the rate times the time is equal to the distance. So you know that formula. So in this case, we'll say you're going uh, with the current, with, and then we're going to say you're going against the current. So when you're going with the current, the current's pushing you or it's adding to your speed. So you can think of your rate plus the speed of the current C, they're adding together, they're working together, they're in the same direction. And that time that it takes you is three hours and you're traveling a distance of 21 miles. Now when you're going back upstream, the current is opposing you, right? So it's slowing you down. So it would be the rate of your uh, paddling in normal still water minus the speed of the current because again it's going against you. And that's why it takes you longer, it takes you seven hours to get back to your starting point. But notice the distance is still the same 21 miles because you're going back, you know, down and back, okay, same distance. So here's our two equations and we can think of this as a, a group, we can put it in parentheses and we can distribute like so. So that gives us 3R plus 3C is equal to 21 and here we have 7R minus 7C is also equal to 21. Okay, so now we want to solve for the uh, speed of the current. Now you can do this a couple different ways, uh, but in this case, let's go ahead and just do the elimination method. So we want to solve for the speed of the current C. So let's see if we can eliminate the, the R's here. So let's multiply this top equation by seven, and let's multiply this bottom equation by negative three. So what does that give us? That gives us 21R, uh, plus 21c is equal to 147 and here we get negative 21r plus 21c is equal to negative 63. Okay so now you can see the r's cancel we get 42c is equal to how much is that 147 minus 63 it is 84 and if we divide both sides by 42, you can see that C is equal to two miles per hour. So that's the speed of our, our current. Now, if we wanted to uh, find the speed of the boat, uh, we could solve for R by plugging that back in and solving for the rate of the boat in still water. So great job if you're able to follow this system of equations story problem. If you wanna see more examples like these, I'll put a video right there so you can test yourself, practice, and I'll see you over in that video.